All right, what is up y'all and welcome back. Today I'm doing something I have not done in quite a while and that is a little bit of jetty fishing at the Surfside Freeport Jetty. So we're out here today, the wind finally laid down. I think it's blowing well, maybe like six or seven right now. Water looks decent. It's, I don't know, not green, but it's a little bit better than brown. So hopefully we'll be able to be on something. We got some live shrimp here. I'm out here with a couple buddies are back there. But we'll see if we can catch some trout, Spanish mackerel, redfish. Sheep's head, who knows? Y'all stay tuned, stick with it. Got the GoPro, I'm gonna throw it on. Let's see if we can catch some. All right, so we're just gonna fish our way down the jetty as we walk. We're gonna start right here. I would just start in the surf area because a lot of times those trout will hang out here and people just skip right over them. So, starting out with just a soft plastic on a one fourth. We're just gonna take a few casts as we walk down, try some different areas. And then once we get out far enough, I'll throw on a spoon and start throwing for Spanish. Oh yeah, I love the jetty. I'm already stuck. Just gonna take about two or three more casts right here and then keep walking. Like I said, I like to fish it on the way out, but I also don't like to waste time. Everyone knows pretty much the best fishing you're gonna have here is sunrise. We were a little bit late this morning. We got out here about 30 minutes late. Sun's already up. But I don't wanna waste all of our time down here with nothing biting if the fish are out there deeper. All right, a little bit crowded today. Hopefully we'll be able to find a spot. Still throwing the big rod out here, moved down a little bit. People are hooking up up and down the jetty. Definitely some fish out here. I just got hit on that last cast. All right, I've switched up now. I'm now throwing a slip cork with a shrimp. I'll show you all the rig right here. All I have is, is my bobber stopper up on my main line. You can move that up or down for the depth. Then we have our slip cork, a egg sinker, swivel under that, and then down to some leader, a little treble hook, live shrimp. Let's see what happens. Right now I'm only fishing it maybe about five foot down. I'm gonna fish it right off the rocks. Kay just caught himself a sheep's head right here. So we're gonna see if we can catch one. So right off the rocks, let it slip down. If I don't get anything here, I'm gonna move that bobber stopper up. Fish about eight or nine foot down, cast it out, see if we can get a Spanish mackerel. There's a fish, I missed him. Something little. Probably took my bait. Yep, let's get another shrimp try again. All right, we're hooked up here. Something big, staying down. I can feel my line rubbing the rocks. I have no hope, I don't think it's a good one. Oh wait, he just came off the rock. No, he's back down in him. Pulling drag. I'm trying to take the battery out of my GoPro so I can fix it. What? Oh, dude, what? All right, guys, I'm not really talking much just because first cast just hooked up on a massive pompano, but I'm kind of sketched. I have no minute. Oh, that's All right, well, I don't know what I just got on video, guys, but I just caught like the biggest pompano ever, I think. We gotta find out how to get him. We're gonna have to go down there. Bro, he's swimming. Oh, wait. He's right there. He's off. I lost him. 
really? Yeah. No, he's still on. Oh, oh he has a shoe grip. Oh. All right, y'all. Let's see. There we go. Oh, hey. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. First cast down here. We came down here throwing spoons. First cast. My biggest pompano ever. This thing is massive. I didn't even know we could get them this big here. That's a huge pompano. That's good eating too. I don't know what happened with the camera situation. I couldn't get the GoPro to turn on. You know, sometimes that just happens. But. And then the phone, I don't know if y'all can even hear me. I was just really focused on catching this thing once I saw what it was. Uh, yeah, got stuck in the rock, spotted for like five minutes trying to get it out, and this nice guy over here walked down there with the cleats. So we're gonna go throw this guy in the cooler, he's going home. That's a kicky fish. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, guys, we got the big spoon on here. I'm about to make a few casts with this, but I think we're about to head home. It's been pretty slow. Nobody's really catching anything. We saw a few trout get caught. No Spanish mackerel, uh, but we also did see a few jacks, so we know that they're here. So I'm going to throw this around a few casts, see if I can hook into one, but if not, I think we're going to call it. We have live shrimp too, but honestly, nothing good on live shrimp. I think Cade right here caught like two little sheep's head. Let's see what happens. All right, so it's about two days later right now. I've had this pompano sitting in the fridge, and y'all just take one more look at this thing before we clean it up. This is by far my biggest pompano I've ever caught. Um, honestly, a really surprised catch. Caught this thing on a spoon about five feet off the rocks on the Freeport Jetty. So we're gonna clean this thing up. I did gut it the other day because I didn't know if I wanted to cook it whole or not. So I gutted it, ripped all the gills out and everything, but I think I'm just gonna flay it. I'm gonna do a cool little recipe. So I'm gonna take knife, run it right under the scales. Here, you can come around here and look. Okay, so we're just gonna lay the knife in here and just make a very shallow cut down the backbone. As close to the scales, I mean, as close to the fins as we can get it without going over them. We're just taking our time here. We don't wanna miss any meat. This fish is probably the best thing you want. As you can see, you can kind of feel the skin right there. Look how white that is. Crazy. All right, now that we have our cut, we're just gonna stick the knife in there and start making it deeper. Following those backbones all the way. And also on Pompano, they have quite a bit of head meat. So you wanna make sure you go all the way up. About right there. All right, we're just gonna keep doing this. Then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna cut behind the fin and angle all the way up into our head meat. Right there. All right, now we're just to start peeling it back. You just wanna go up and over that spine right there. You get to the middle of the filet. And tilt your knife down and go down the other side so you don't miss a bunch of meat. You could be real forceful with it and just break through all the bones, but I like to take my time, especially on a fish that's good. Okay. Now that we're through, we're just gonna cut this down all the way. Put our knife down. Break our filet off. On a pompano, you don't even need to skin them. You can eat all that skin. It doesn't. There's really no scales on it. They're very tiny. So, look at that fillet right there. Very last thing we gotta do to our fillet is cut out the rib bones. You just find them right there. You can see them. And we're gonna try to go under them. Once again, very carefully. If this was a trout. We would have been done five minutes ago. Run that out. 
right, and there we go. And I lied, there's actually one last thing that we're gonna do on this fish and that's gonna be taking out the pin bones. You can rub your finger right down the middle, following the bloodline, they have pin bones that go all the way up. So we're just gonna cut a little bit on both sides of them. Turn that knife, go through. And we should be able to just rip those right out. Yep, there we go. And now we have a completely boneless filet. Super white meat, I mean, that's crazy. Best eating fish you can catch around here, in my opinion, for sure. But, all right, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side and then we'll see y'all to continue the recipe. So we have our fish completely cleaned up. Now we got both fillets. And now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip them both over. And we're just gonna go ahead and score the skin. Cause if we don't score the skin, then this fish is going to fold up in the pan like this. And it's not going to cook as evenly. So scoring it, we're allowed to get a little bit of a crunch on it and it should be better. Now we're just gonna lightly score it. We don't wanna cut all the way through the meat. All right, now that we have it scored up, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and season it with just a little bit of salt. That's the only seasoning I'm gonna use. And we're gonna season it with salt before we do anything else because I don't feel like seasoning my flour or anything. So I'm gonna put a little bit of flaky salt on the skin right there, push it down. Oh, and now I can't touch the salt. Anyways, I'm gonna wash my hands, put a little sprinkle on the front, and then uh, it'll be ready to move on and throw it in the pan. what recipe I'm making right now, but I'm going to be making a uh, pecan nut crusted fish. So I've done this with trout before, but I've never done it with pompano. And I think it's gonna be really good. So all we have here is some pecans that I've crushed up and I mix it with some panko. You can just use normal breadcrumbs, panko is all I had. And then we have some flour and we have some egg wash. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our fish and we're just gonna give it a light coating of flour. Nothing crazy. We're gonna wanna shake off all the excess after we coat it. We're gonna make sure we coat both sides. Get this on there. And this is just gonna help everything stick together, right? Dredging our fish in flour. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but nice little thin coat there. Shake off all the extra. Same thing to the other side. Like I said, we want that skin to be just as good. Okay, rub it in. And now I am leaving these fillets whole. Normally whenever you do this, you cut your fish into serving size portions. Uh, I mean, this is kind of a serving size, but it's gonna barely fit in the pan. It's all right though, it'll be fine. All right, we have our flour on there. Scoop this up, back to the egg. Now we're just gonna take our fish, make sure we shake off all that extra flour, dredge the fish in the egg. Okay, both sides right here. Get it nice and coated. Then we just pick up our fish, drain off that extra egg, and straight in our crumb mixture, meat side down. Now we're just gonna push it down really hard to make it all stick. And it should look something like that. Lots of pecans on there. The more pecans, the better. We'll do the same thing to the backside, do the same thing to the other filet. And then that butter should be just about melted and we're gonna throw it in there and start cooking. Y'all stay tuned. So I have my butter melted over here and it's actually starting to brown a little bit, which is good. I love a good brown butter. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our filet right here. We're gonna do it with this side down first. We can get it in there. All right, and that pan is not as hot as we would have liked it, but it's okay, it'll get up to heat. We'll turn it up there, get it warm. And all this is gonna take is about, I'd say about two minutes per side, and then we're gonna put it in a baking pan, throw it in the oven for five minutes at, I think 350, and it'll be perfect. been going about two minutes. I can smell those things cooking. Now we're gonna see if we can flip it. I should have cut this smaller, but I just think it looks cool in one big piece. I don't know, guys. My spatula is a little weak. Hey! And that's perfect. A little bit black on the tops, but it'll be fine. All right, get that in the butter. Give that about another minute or two on that side, and then onto the baking sheet. 
our oven's ready. We took our fish out right here. As you can see, I got a little carried away on this one. May have gave it a little bit blackened on the pecan, but it'll be fine. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna throw it in the oven and it's only gonna take about five minutes here. So wow, it's hot. In the oven, five minutes. Timer, five, start. Now while that's going, I'm gonna make a little sauce. Now, I've never made a sauce to go with this, but I was just thinking what I have and I don't have any lemon right now, so I can't make a lemon butter sauce. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an orange juice and like butter sauce. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of orange juice in here. Not much. And we'll let that cook down for two or three minutes, let it reduce, thicken up a little bit, then we'll add in a little bit of butter, maybe some flour, maybe some seasoning that we can find. Honestly, I have no idea. But it should be fun and hopefully it'll come out and taste good and pair well with those pecans. I'm starting to add in the butter here. It's looking nice, starting to thicken up a little bit. I don't know how this is gonna work out. I've never made this before. But hey, nothing with butter can be bad, right? So we have our butter pretty much boiled down. We're gonna add a little bit of this, Seafood House. I'm just adding a random seasoning because I don't know, I think it sounds good. This kind of has a little lemony taste to it. So we'll add a little bit of that. Definitely add a little bit more. Something to bring it up. Then we're just gonna keep stirring it, guys. That's the most important thing when you're making a sauce. Keep it moving, keep stirring it. Don't let it separate, don't get it too hot. Pick it up, I got a little bed of rice here, very thin bed of rice, I didn't make enough, but just lay it on top of there, we're just plating it up now. That looks good already, let me get the sauce here. I added just a touch of flour to the sauce. It's not as orange and vibrant colored as I would have liked it to be, but it tastes fine and that's what matters. So, get to make sure it's nice and stirred around, have a good consistency here. We do, and we'll scoop it up. Pour it straight over the fish. Maybe a little bit more. I mean, that's perfect. One last look at the awesome plate of fish there. Of course, no vegetables on the side. Y'all know how it is around here. But let's cut it and give it a bite. So we're gonna go right for the middle right here. Ooh, and look at that up close. Nice crust on the fish, perfect. Look at the meat right there. Super white, super flaky, get close, get close. It gets no better than that, let's give it a taste. It's bone apple teeth. Sometimes I ask myself, how do I do it? That fish is amazing. The sauce turned out good. It has a perfect amount of sweetness, perfect amount of savoriness from the butter. Absolutely perfect. The pecans sweeten up a little bit. Guys, give this one a try. Pecan crusted fish. It is great for trout. I bet it's great for redfish. Good for flounder. Definitely good for pompano. I'm gonna continue eating this plate. I'm gonna finish it off, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you are, like always, thank you guys so much. Until next time, peace. Boop.